Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. 1973 caboose here. You know how I, I don't condone trespassing. This is what's left of the original North Adams Junction yard here in Pittsfield, Mass. There's only two tracks. Used to be a lot more at one time during the Conrail days. They they always maintained the yard. CSX came in the picture. And uh, this this is actually the result of it. And we've got old box cars from different railroads down here. But this yard had a lot more trackage. Some of it was dead end. Some of it was connected. And the track closest to where that hillside is, that was the old Adams main line that went that was part of the North Adams branch. And at one time, if you want to believe it, there was passenger train service all the way to North Adams from Pittsfield. And I'm going to give you guys a little peek at something. These boxcars here are the material storage for CSX, Conrail, you know, that all that happy horse crap. They've been here for a long time. One of the cars was originally, I think, New York Central, Penn Central. One's, an, one's even got cut. The same one has got the New York Central, Penn Central markings. has got Conrail on it. One of the car, the one of the cars they tried to take to uh, Selkirk, but wound up having the local job pick, grab it off the train because of the old friction baron trucks were no damn good. And at one time there was even a water plug here, right where those trailers are. When CSX started ripping the yard up, they took that out too, and that was going back to the days when there was an actual. Roundhouse and turntable right here in this yard a long time ago. And I mean, this, this is just sick then. That, you know, when I was a kid, there was more yard tracks here. My great uncle actually was the train master here. He even operated the old uh, scale that when they weighed the cars, like the ones with the transformers and stuff. Well, somewhere right in this area right here where I'm looking at, that big structure was the Crane and Company warehouse where they br they would bring in boxcars full of paper. Okay, yeah, the last car in the contest was actually torched by some idiot numerous of times. Actually, it looks like two of them were and the other two weren't. They've always been big about people coming down in the back of the yard where these cars are. Here's a, a box car. It's got a multiple personality disorder. It's got, you can see Conrail through it. Penn Central. I swore I, at one time I seen New York Central. And I think this car over yonder used to be Erie Lackawanna, but I'm not 100% sure about it. It's been a, because of all the, you know, the rust and burnt carnage from a couple fires. Here's where I'm parked way over by where the buses are, but next to the building. Yep, another there two Penn Central X Conrail box cars and two unidentifiable cars. With it being May, I'm not gonna attempt to go around to try to get any type of picture or video of these this these two the the last car in this fr uh, head car because of ticks so this use this uh, this yard at one time actually even had a turntable roundhouse a uh, colon tower That's where we walked in. I would not advise of anybody coming down in here because this area is technically off limits to non-railroad personnel. 
I think this is the Erie Lackawanna box car, but I'm not sure of it. If you go down, the, down to the train yard in Kingston, you'd actually see a, a couple X Lehigh Valleys and I think an Erie Lackawanna. Right where those trailers are used to be, where the uh, where the water plug was, actually was a water tower type thing. Not not like a wa water tank type tower, but just a pipe coming up off the ground with a, you know, on a stand there, and it would curve, and then on a hinge, it would swing out when the firemen would want to fill the locomotive tender with water. So that's our look at the old North Adams Junction Yard in Pittsfield. Nothing like it was. When uh, CSX took over, one of their policies was they're going to destroy what was left of any of the historical landmarks of any of the railroads that made other railroads possible if they bought and they've already started. And actually part of that water plug, I think, is that... No, that's actually a walkway for one of the railroad bridges over the ri small brooks and rivers. So I'm going to call it a quits here. Have a good day, everybody. Stay safe.